today I'm going to be showing you how to run Python code in the terminal on a Mac. So first things first, you're going to want to download Python. Simply just go to the Python just go to the Python website, welcome to python.org. You can go to downloads and download Python 3.74 or whatever version for your operating system. Right now we're focusing on Mac. So once you have that downloaded, just follow the prompts and such. And now you're going to want to go to your text editor. I'm using Sublime Text. It's a great editor or you can go to a code editor which has some additional features. You could download Sublime Text for free by just going to the website. So we're going to write our program. It's going to be a program that takes in a username. It's going to ask what is your name and then it's going to take that information and say it's going to say hello plus it's going to say hello plus your name great as you can see this is just text it's just reading as text but if we just go to file save as we could call this say hello and the key part for naming this you want to put a dot pi at the end to signify that it's a Python file and then you're just going to save it to a folder you could either save it to your desktop or I have this folder called Python code in the desktop folder just know where you can find this later on because you're going to need to know where you put this so you can figure out where it is in terminal and so the computer can figure it out. Also, here you notice I put a dash. You cannot put a space or else it won't work because spaces mean different things. So in your file name, just put a dash. It's easier. And now you're going to save it. And now you can see that everything is highlighted because the text editor re recognizes this as Python code. So it's highlighting some of these functions, stuff like that. So now we're going to exit out of here. We're going to go to our terminal to, to get to terminal, just search it up in the spotlight, or I have it open right there. So now I'm in the home folder. This is the tells you the name of the, your device and what folder you're in. So right now I'm in pretty much the base folder. To get into the folder I want, which is Python code, we first have to go to the desktop because our Python code folder is in the desktop. Now if your folder is in documents or anything else, you can just change what I'm writing. So first you write CD space and then my folder is in desktop so I'm gonna write desktop. If your folder is in documents just type documents etc etc and click enter. Now we're in the desktop folder so we did it. If you, Let's say you typed in the wrong folder you could just click CD and it will take you back out but we actually typed in the right folder so we're gonna go back and if you didn't type the folders name correctly it will put uh, files not found in the directory or something like that as an error message and you could just retype it but with the fixed name so now we could type CD Python dash code which is the name of the folder in which our program is located we click enter and now we're in the Python code and now we just write Python 3 space say 
say dash hello dot pi, which is the name of our program, and we could click enter, and it will run the program. So what is your name? Robotic Nation. And there you go. It says hello, Robotic Nation. And that's how you run your code in Terminal. Obviously, this was a simple program, and you could do much more with this. But we focused on taking inputs. You could input things into Terminal and receive an output. And here, it's just running Python. You can use any text editor you want. You just have to put the .py to make sure it knows it's a Python file. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Also, check out the merch link in the description. I'm also going to put a link in the description for the Sublime Text Editor if you want to download that, and also a link to python.org if you want to download the Python software.